हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand a problem on discrete time LTI system. Here, we need to find the frequency response of discrete time LTI system, represented by the impulse response H of n, which can be given as one by two whole to the power of n u of n. So, the impulse response is given. For this impulse response, we need to find the frequency response of discrete time LTI system. The frequency response. of discrete time lti system can be represented as h of omega that can be given as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n so this is the representation of impulse response of discrete time lti system now in place of h of n let us substitute 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n so we can write h of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now this u of n will be 1 for n value greater than or equal to 0 therefore we can write the above equation as h of omega is equal to summation of so n value we need to take greater than or equal to 0 so we can write that as n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n we can write it as 1 into exponential to the power of minus j omega n so we can write this equation as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 by 2 into exponential to the power of minus j omega a whole to the power of n we know the standard formula summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity a to the power of n we can write this as 1 divided by 1 minus a therefore we can write h of omega is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 into exponential to the power of minus j omega so this is the impulse response now let us consider the second problem where h of n is given as 1 by 8 into 7 by 8 whole to the power of n u of n so for this we need to find the impulse response now we know h of omega we can write it as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity h of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n now in place of h of n let us substitute this term so we can write h of omega is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity 1 by 8 into 7 by 8 whole to the power of n u of n into exponential to the power of minus j omega n so we can write the above equation as h of omega is equal to so we can take this 1 by 8 outside the summation because we don't have any n term here and also we can write the summation from n is equal to 0 to infinity so that u of n is equal to 1 so we can write 1 by 8 into summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity 7 by 8 whole to the power of n exponential to the power of minus j omega n so we can write the above equation as h of omega is equal to 1 by 8 into summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity 7 by 8 into exponential to the power of minus j omega whole to the power of n again we can use the same formula summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity a to the power of n we can write that as 1 divided by 1 minus a therefore we can write h of omega is equal to 1 by 8 into 1 divided by 1 minus 7 by 8 into exponential to the power of minus j omega so this is the impulse response of the lti system this is about problems on frequency response of discrete time lti system hope you have understood the topic thank you